Hi. Hi, guys. How are you, teacher? Uh, I'm not good, but better than yesterday. Oh. So that's that's much better. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How about you? How are you, Claudia? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine? Yeah. Fine. What do you do today? Uh, I am work. I was work. Ah, okay. You you were working. Or, or you went to work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what do you do at your work? Uh, ¿Qué hiciste um, en tu trabajo? What do you do at your work? Ah, okay. Um, how do you say uh, ventas? Sales? Yes. Um, sales. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, how do you say papelería? Oh, paper. But, but paper about what? Uh, work paper? Or, or paper related to work? Like bills and something like that? Uh, uh, or receipts? Paper, the office. Ah, okay, okay. I got it. Very good. Uh, did you sell, um, I don't know, um, pets, toys, or food? No. No? No? No. No. There, there are not. Ah, okay. They are, they are not. No, there are not. Ah, didn't know that. Okay. For, so, so what did you say? Ah, okay. Oh, yes, I understand. Definitely. So, mm -hmm. but what did you say? ¿Qué vendiste? Um, uh, food, food. Food. Ah, food. Okay. The, the pets. Mm -hmm. Pets food. Ah, that's ah, great. Okay. Pets food. Okay, yeah. I need to go to where you are <laughs> and buy the food for my pets. But I cannot yeah. right now because I don't have permission to leave my home. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Exactly. And uh, first of all, because of my health. And second of all, because I have a car, but I do not have a driver license. <laughs> oh. So uh, I can drive and everything, but I, I cannot uh, drive my car. Uh, just my husband. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. I just can walk around near here and that's it, basically. Yeah. Yeah, but that's nice. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, Caldita. Fernando. Hello, teacher. How Hello. are you? Much better than yesterday. Oh, okay. And okay, not good, but much better than yesterday. Oh. Because, so, so. um, yes, um, I'm okay. sorry right now a lot, <laughs> and it's because of the same, right? And of course, okay. it's really hot, right? Is, isn't it? Uh, in the in the Congo, no, really, yeah, in the Congo, it rains hard. Ah, yes, Charlie told me yes. that uh, he sent us a message that it was like a storm, so yeah, uh, hopefully, that's not affect uh, uh, basically the internet, right? The internet, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it started. At seven twenty-two. Really? So it was really yeah. long time ago, and it's still raining. Yeah, teacher. Wow. So it's going to be really hot. I know because today I don't know what happened, but today has been hotter than the other days. It's really hot the whole day. Oof. To be really honest cold. with you, yes. I don't know yeah. how many times I have took. I have taken a shower. Okay. <laughs> Maybe like a three or four or five times a day. Because for me, I'm a person that is not had a good, uh, doesn't have a good relation with a hot climate, with hot areas. I prefer cold. For my health, it's better cold than hot. Yeah. So I think that, that uh, what had happened to me yesterday, that I, I felt like a uh, hot collapse. And like, and I fall down. Right now, it uh, still hurts uh, my hands, uh, my my back, my knees, my butts, <laughs> and my forehead. It's yeah. to buy. It's to buy a portature. Um, definitely, yeah. but I don't have a place to put it, and basically, oh, okay. that's the reason why. Because my house is little right now. He, this house is oh, small, so I don't have to. That's the reason why. If not, I would be loved to. Yes. The house is little. 
Yes, yes, yeah. it is. A it's only um two two rooms. Okay. Uh, two bedrooms. Mm. One little jar in the front, one little jar in the back. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and three pets. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, the That's little one. Enough. Yeah, the little one I I found uh, like uh, how you say here wakal in in Spanish, right? Wakal, a, a huge one, the one that you use to clean your your clothes and everything. So I fill it up with water, and the little the little dog, a uh, chestnut, he jump in, and he was like <laughs> swimming. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know, but he loves water. You know what what he does? There's a space here where he has like his beverage, like. <laughs> Yeah, when he has his water to drink, and when he feels really hot, this is what he does. To the wakal, to the, yeah, he does that to the wakal, and he, he flow all the water, like, <laughs> derramar el agua, right? So, exactly. So, when the floor is ha has a lot of water, he's like this. <laughs> he, he, he's doing like trapeador, right? In the water. <laughs> so so I had to 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 fill the, his wakal with a lot of water in order for him not to throw it away because it's not it's a disaster every single day. <laughs> Can you imagine? So I decided that's why I decided to gr grab a, a a wakal a huge wakal and fill it out in water so he can just jump in. So that is his pool actually. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. That's nice to talk to you and, and nice to see you. I missed you yesterday, guys. I really missed you a lot. But I, I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't give you the class because <laughs> of that. Yeah, and, and it still hurts. I still have a backache. Todavía tengo dolor de espalda. Porque me caí, me mareé, y me quedé en el suelo. So hard. it was really hard, yes. I think it was a collapse, baby, basically. But I already have my medication, so that's why I'm feeling much better. Yeah, yeah that, but I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy I missed you very, yesterday. Very dangerous, very dangerous for the colon. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Hoy me duele todo. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, guys. Christian! How are you? I hey, hey, you switch places. You switch places. You have a different place right now. <laughs> yes. That's yes, nice. I'm in, in my room. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, you know what I love? The, the prints on the wall. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they're really nice. Okay. Did you decorate it? Yes. Um, before this room, mm -hmm. um, um you can do it you can do it um i don't remember i don't remember um <laughs> i don't believe was, you. Mm -hmm. was 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 very good was my my son oh was your son's room but now yes. it's your room because uh -huh. uh, today is my room that's nice so you switch rooms <laughs> oh, yes and the one that used to be your room now is your son's room Exactly. You know what? Maybe tomorrow you can switch there. <laughs> you can show us how is the, the print on the back. That would be amazing. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's why it's really nice. It sounds like you you put some, um, like what? Like a paint on your shoe, and then you put it on the back like that. I like it. <laughs> this is a, 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 a sponja. A sponge? A sponge. A sponge. A sponge. Uh -huh. with, with, I use a sponge. Uh -huh. a, a little picture. Uh -huh. a paint. A, a paint. Paint. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. sorry. A little paint and I. And just like. I was, I was put. Ah, that's nice. But that was really good. It's, it's really creative. I like it. Creative. I like <laughs> it. Yeah, and I like colors. Yes. <laughs> that, that's nice. I'm so <laughs> happy to have you here. Who else I have here? Yes, Gavi. Hi, Gavi. How are you? Hi, good night. Good night. How was your Fine. day? Thank you. Was it good? Uh, 
Yes. Yes. Good. I'm so happy yes. to hear that. What did you do? Uh, well, um, my day start, uh, started, yeah, it started, um, uh, at 7 a.m. because, uh, my husband and I was a um, meeting with the teacher of my child. Ah, so you were in a meeting yes. with your child's teacher. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for um, uh, seguimiento, how do you say seguimiento? For the following? For the following uh, of the uh, work in, in home. Uh, so, you, so you mean for the classes following? Yes. For, okay, for home classes following, you can say that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I understand. Oh, no. Today, no, I woke up late. <laughs> 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 and what else did you do? Did you work? Um, yes, with my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, I cook. You cooked? Yeah, that's good. What did you cook? Rellenos. Oh, great. There's there, there's no word in, in English for that, so don't worry in about English it. For that. Okay. No, there's no. <laughs> That's nice. Well, rellenos and Chile? some house chores, see? Yes. Ah, okay. Oh, it's delicious. And practice a little English. Finally. <laughs> finally, somebody <laughs> was practicing English. Finally. Because yes. I know somebody who always said, no, I don't have time to practice English. The one who always wears like a hat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was trying to learn some verbs. Verbs. You were trying, yes. you, were, you were practicing uh, verbs. Okay, a regular or regular ones? Uh, I regular. Oh, that's nice. Um, congratulations. Very good job. Excellent. So they were going to do something really good. So hopefully you like it. <laughs> because we're okay. go today we're going to practice speaking and listening. But b basically speaking. Okay. So today will be really hard. That's why I'm asking you a lot of questions because I want you to speak. And the only way, practice, right? Practice makes perfection. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much, Gabby, for sharing the, uh, your activities with us. Mr. Moran. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. It's been a pleasure to see you once again. <laughs> Thanks, God, I can see you. <laughs> How was your day? Uh, fine, fine. Uh, I, I'm good. What did you do? Uh, I, I work. Uh, you worked? What else? Um, I eating. You ate. You ate. Ate. I ate. I. Yes, because you're talking about you, so it's I ate. I ate. What did you um, eat? Rellenos uh, as well, or no? <laughs> because Gabby cooked rellenos for her family today. Meat uh, asado. Uh, uh, grill. Uh, meat, grill, grill meat, grill meat. Uh huh. Uh, only, only, only. No, yeah. I don't think you. A grill uh, meal got in, in a dollar of tortillas, right? Tortillas, rice, <laughs> rice. Okay. Uh, salad, uh, salad. Mm -hmm. And a Coca Cola, uh, a Coke. No, no. I, 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 I. You clicked. I don't, you clicked. I about don't that. drink Coca Cola. You okay? It was a Sprite. No, I don't. I oh, don't tea. drink soda. It was tea. Yeah, uh, but uh, now uh, uh, today uh, I drink. You drank? I drink uh, soda, but I drink uh, water. Uh, you drank water. Yeah, I ah, drank okay. water. But most of the time it's tea, right? Uh, or natural regular. use, right? Natural, right? Eh. Sometimes. Sometime. Two or three. Okay, very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you uh, study English like Gabby, for example? Oh, no. Uh, no. Yesterday, yesterday yes. <gasps> wow, that was a miracle, but we didn't have class. So. Uh, yesterday, I, I was studying in was the platform. Okay, so you were practicing the platform. Very good. Yeah. I'm so happy that uh, you did that. 
y avancé es... And you move forward. Y en, en move forward. Very good. I'm so happy. And I'm proud of you. Congratulations, girl, sir. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing what you did. Um, now let me ask Miss, Miss Nadia, how are you? Hi, Nadia. Hi, long time without seeing you, but I want to see you. I want to see your image. Doesn't matter if you have not come your hair. Ah, okay. Ah, all right. In this hour. Oh, I understand. My son is Okuba. Oh, okay. He's using it. Okay. For his classes. Okay, I understand that. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, well, not to see you because I don't see you right now, but to hear you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. No. Hello. I miss you. I know it's really hard sometimes to be in the class because there's sometimes there's we are so really busy, but I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Well, today we're going to have so much fun. I promise that. <laughs> Very good. And I love your glasses, by the way. Yeah, they're really nice. You, you look so intellectual. And you are, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Nadia. Uh, Diana, how are you, my girl? Hi, teacher. How you doing, pretty girl? Uh, today was a board day. Really? Because, Why? Because I missed to go to my job. You couldn't go to, you couldn't go to work? Or you didn't go to work? No, because Ooh. the quarantine. Oh, okay. Um, I am I am working in a mall, and okay, yes. And the mall is closed. Definitely. Um, that's it. In for because uh, I'm not working today. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it's really hard to stay home, right? It's yes. bored. But because I'm I, I'm doing that the same things in my house mm -hmm. and I and I come say second set. I get tired. I get tired in to I know. do the clean the house and they clean their room and other things. But my mother is here to me with me. Oh, and, that's nice. And together. We, we was cooking. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that it was a, a team new cook. <laughs> the new hobbies. <laughs> the new hobbies. Okay, you can ask for some advice to Gabby. Yeah. It, it sounds like she's a really great chef, by the way. <laughs> right, <think>. Gabby? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can send a message between both of you and also uh, they, she can share something. Or also Christian. Christian, he can make uh, really good pancakes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? You look, okay, yes, 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 of course. Yeah, definitely. And also Moran, he, he can bake pizza. So, mm -hmm. definitely, yeah, you can have some advice. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that, yeah, Diana. Uh, Mr. Americo, how are you? Good night. Good night, sir. It's been a pleasure to see you once again. The pleasure is, 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 is new. Thank you so much, sir. You know what? I love your pal, your roommate, the teddy bear that you have on the back. Uh, El Osito, the teddy bear that you have in the back. Uh, I love your roommate. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty. Yeah, me gusta. I love it. Uh, y está presentable para la clase. He has a tie. Okay. He has a tie, right? <laughs> he has a tie. A con purple que, tie. Yeah. Con solo, con solo que no <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want to let you know, but yeah, it moves. <laughs> I'm just dizzying you. <laughs> he was like, oh my God, he's steady. <laughs> no, I, I thought he's going to say, but please uh, don't let him uh, uh, give me the answers for the questions that you're going to let me know. So you sure know. He's, he's not going to give you the answers, okay? <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Alexander, how are you, sir? Very good, teacher. Very good. Hopefully, you don't do anything to my Zoom today. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and just do, <laughs> I just do see you. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Who is missing here? Ah, Ernesto. How are you, sir? Hi, Ernesto. How are you? <laughs> what happened with his um? Oh, Mr. Ernesto, how are you? I cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Guys, what is he doing? Like, right? Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Ernesto, can you hear us? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Just wait for him. And then we can start classes. Uh, Sofia Hernandez. Oh, Miss Martita, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm Hi, so happy. Uh, much better. I'm not okay. good, but I'm much better than yesterday. Okay. I'm so happy to see you. Okay. Yeah, I miss you yesterday. And we're going to start okay. today. We're going to double check a really great topic, which is basically there is, there are. Have you heard that those words before, guys? Ya lo habían escuchado antes. Have you he have you heard those words before? Have you used them? Ya la han usado? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Para qué lo han usado? Uh, for uh, I use when I when I say. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, something. Mm -hmm. For example? Uh, um, there is a computer. Okay. On my desk. Okay, very good. Well, you would like to make reference to an existence of something, right? Exactly. Or, for example, you work at um, the camera, right? Yes. Okay. So, for example, if somebody asks you, hey, Christian, um, is there uh, a bar near here? Yes, uh, there are four bars in the uh, Cameron Hotel. Uh, oh, 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 okay. You look, you look so <laughs> professional. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Very, exactly. So the people use, is there, are there, there is, there are, there is one, there are some, there are any to express about location, right? And to give some directions, is that correct? For example, do you, did you remember guys? Oh, do you remember in this case, um, the, um, the dialogue that we have seen in the last class before? Did you remember that? Se acuerdan? Yes. Okay, exactly. Do, uh, do you remember guys, what was the dialogue about? The que era el dialogo? Neighbors. Neighbors. Very good. Who was the new neighbor? The guy, right? Yeah. El chico. Yeah. Exactly. And do, uh, do you remember what did he ask? ¿Qué es lo que preguntó? About uh, what? About which places? Landromatic. Landromat. Very good. And what else? Mm, grocery store. Grocery store, very good, Gabby. And which place the old lady suggests him also to go? Barber shop. <laughs> exactly, the barber shop. Porque estaba muy peludo, right? Okay, very good. Okay, guys, vamos a retomar eso. Ernesto, I I love your your headsets. Well, they're not headsets. They're like your earphones, right? They're headset. Are they headsets? No? It sounds like... It sounds weird. Yeah. Okay. I'm so happy that you have here in the class. Okay, guys. So, basically, we're going to, um, to, to take about that information back so we can start today's class. Okay? So, allow me one moment. I'm going to share my screen with you. But I will need to open it right now. Um... <laughs> There you go. Let me share my screen with you. Hey, Alexander, we're wearing the same type of color today. That's nice. There you go. Let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen, okay? There you go. 
There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay. So today we're going to do, uh, to talk about there is, there are, there are one. Uh, sorry, there is, there is one. There are some. There are any, etc. We're going to talk about how can we use that, not only to ask where is something is located in our neighborhood, but also to provide information. Okay. There you go. Do you see these two? Basically, these two questions are uh, the two questions that we have seen on the dialogue before. Is that correct? Yes. Is that correct? Yes, of course. Yeah. For example, do me a favor, Mr. Miss Nadia. Could you please be so kind to read for me the first question? Is there a number mat near here? Exactly. Guys, what you are asking? ¿Qué están preguntando? Thank you, Nari. Very good. Que si hay una lavandería cerca. Pero ustedes dicen, ¿hay una lavandería cerca? ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando usan, ¿hay una lavandería cerca? ¿Qué es lo primero que hay en esa pregunta? What is the first thing that we need to put in that question? Y que está en negrito, por cierto. Exactly, the verb to be. Como estoy hablando de una laundromat, estoy hablando de one place, el cupo is or el cupo are? Is. Is. Very good. Entonces, is va primero y luego there. De existir, right? Y después, a laundromat. Y ven que ocupo la palabra near, porque usted quiere saber si hay algo cerca. Por ejemplo, si yo voy a Santa Ana y le pregunto a Fernando, Fernando, hay un supermercado, hay una laundromat near here, near your house, él me va a contestar. ¿Cómo me va a contestar? ¿Quién me quiere responder? Yeah. Eh, Moran, can you please read it for me? Ok, no there isn't. No, la primera. Ah, yes there is. Yes there is. Ve usted cuál es la, cómo es la respuesta. La pregunta va primero el verb to be, después there, y luego el complemento de lo que usted quiere preguntar. Pero cuando responde, ¿qué pasa con el is y el there? Cambia de posición. Pasa Cambia de posición. Exactly. Primero es el yes or no, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de la respuesta directa que usted le vaya a dar a la pregunta que le acaban de decir. Y ojo, always remember that after yes or no, there is a coma. ¿Sí? Porque por eso es que a veces no le salen los ejercicios en la plataforma. Porque se le olvida la coma, el punto, el apóstrofe, etc. Y la plataforma es bien inteligente. Yeah. A veces confundimos la coma con la apóstrofe. A mí me ha pasado. Así que it depends on the, el teclado, el keyboard, ¿verdad? Que se tiene. Muy bien. Entonces, si usted se fija, yes, there is. Punto. That is the answer, the direct answer for the question, ¿sí? Para la pregunta que le hicieron. Pero si usted dice sí, usted me tiene que dar más información en este caso, porque yo le estoy preguntando. Imagínese que yo le digo a usted, ¿hay una lavandería cerca de aquí? Sí hay. Y, y, en, ya, ¿ah? y entonces, ok, hello, right? Uh, uh, es decir, te estoy preguntando because I need it, right? Entonces usted me tiene que dar una respuesta después de eso. Me tiene que decir, por lo menos, ubicarme a dónde está. ¿Sí? Entonces, si usted se fija, siga leyendo, Morán, por favor, donde dice, yes, there is. Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Exactly. Very good. Yes, there is. Punto. There's. Ahí, acuérdese que esa es la contracción de there is, guys. ¿Sí? Ya lo vamos a ver. La contracción de there is. O sea, que usted puede contractarlo. Y usted me dice, sí, hay una. Across from the shopping center, pasando el centro comercial, pasando, es decir, al otro lado de, ¿sí? Across from, ¿se recuerda? That's the meaning, across from, al otro lado de, ¿sí? Muy bien, ok, do me a favor, let's practice that question and let's practice the answer. Gabby, can you read it back for me, the question? Is there? The first one? Yes, the first one, please. Is there a laundromat, in, sorry, the laundromat near here? Very good. Can you please answer me? Yes, uh, Mr. Moran. 
Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good job. Excellent job. Okay, now answer in a negative way, Alexander. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. 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 Library is biblioteca. Library. Okay. Very good. Ven que, en las, ven que hay algo muy diferente en las dos respuestas. ¿Se han fijado? ¿O no? Usan el bat. Exactly. Using the, very good, very good. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir yes, there is, punto, y quiere seguir utilizando el there's, si usted se fija, tiene que poner un punto y después empezar con mayúscula. Sin embargo, si usted quiere ocupar el but, después de no, there isn't, hay una coma, ocupa el but y vuelve a poner el there's one next to the library. Bien, bien interesante. Puede hacerlo de las dos maneras. ¿Me entiende? Ok, uh, for, for example, in the, yes, first, first, in the first answer, uh -huh. yes, there is, but one across from the shopping center. Huh? Yes, there is, coma. There's coma. one, but there's one. Pero ahí me está diciendo usted, fíjese que más que todo, eh, el but, si usted se fija, no se ocupa para lo positivo, sino que se ocupa para el negativo. Porque si yo diría, sí, sí hay, pero hay una across the shop, no, no tiene sentido, ¿entiende? Pero si usted le dice la segunda, no, no hay, porque me está preguntando si hay una lavandería cerca de aquí. Yo te digo, no, mira, cerca de aquí no hay, no, there isn't. Pero, but, there's one next to a library, pero hay una cerca de la librería, o a la par de la librería, ¿me entiende? Te estoy respondiendo, aquí, aquí cerquita de mí, no hay. Pero, a la par de la librería hay una. Eso es lo que te estoy diciendo. ¿Sí? Sería como en español decir una excepción. Exactly. Por ejemplo, si yo te pregunto, ¿Is there a supermarket near you? or near here? Si te voy a tu casa, ¿verdad, Alex? Y tú me dices, yes, there is. There's one across from the Nia Julita's store. Un ejemplo. Pero si tú me dices, no, there isn't, teacher, but there's one next to the bank. No, pero fíjate, fíjate que hay unas a la par del banco. ¿Sí? ¿Me entiende? ¿Es it clear, guys? Yes. Yes, yes. yes there is. Are you sure? Yes. Like a water or like horchata? Either or. Water. Like water. a beer. Like a what? Like a beer. Like a beer, Claudia. <laughs> oh my God, Claudia, you need to get out from your home. Something's something happening on your mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys, this is um, how we use with um, with is. Pero vean algo. Ven que con is, ya sea de manera negativa o afirmativa, utilizamos one. ¿Por qué? Mm -hmm. Porque yo me estoy refiriendo a una cosa en particular. Sí hay. Hay uno. ¿Sí? Solo con, solo con there is vamos a usar one. Sí hay una. Eso es lo que yo estoy diciendo en español. Sí hay. Hay una pasando el shopping center. ¿Sí? Pero veamos qué pasaría cuando vamos a hablar con plural. ¿Cuál es el plural del verbo to be, guys? Where is the plural of the verb to be? Are. 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 Very good. Y lo mismo que pasaba con is. ¿Qué pasa cuando yo quiero hacer una pregunta con there, are, o, o are there en inglés? ¿Qué pasa con are? ¿Va antes o después del there? Antes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Are there any grocery stores around here? ¿Hay algunos comestibles, una tienda de comestibles o alguna tienda de comestibles cerquita de aquí? O alrededor de aquí, around here. Si la hay, ¿cómo me contestarían? Yes, there are. There are. Yes, they are. Y si hay más de una, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? There are some. There are some. Nice stores on Pine Street. Usted me dice, si hay, 
¿Por qué? ¿Por qué me dice I? Aquí en este caso are. Porque yo le estoy preguntando si hay por lo menos algunas tiendas. ¿Sí? Y usted me dice, hay algunas. There are some nice store on Pine Street. No me está diciendo, si usted se fija, la palabra some quiere decir que hay más de una. Pero no me está diciendo la cantidad exacta. ¿Por qué? Porque no la sabe. ¿Sí? O porque no es necesario que yo la sepa. Con solo que yo, se, yo sepa que por lo menos tengo más de una opción, suficiente. Sí, Morán, ¿tiene alguna pregunta usted? Sí, Mari. Ay, ya sí. sabía yo. Continúe, por favor. Es que mire, yo no sé, pero uno de teacher llega, aparte de conocer a los estudiantes, llega a tener un onceavo y veintiunavo sentido, que para qué le cuento. Sí, dígame, Morán, ¿en qué le puedo servir? Vale. Se está haciendo la pregunta, ¿are there any? Está mm. como diciendo, hay, pero hay de, que sí hay bastante, ¿verdad? Eh, ah, está... mm, eh, prosiga, ya después le, le, le Va, por, porque, respondo. Eh, con, contesta, yes, there are. Sí, al, sí, alguna, dice. Ajá. Ah, ah, sí hay. Alguna, hola. Yes, there ah, are, okay. sí hay. Sí hay, pero como en plural, por decirlo así. Ajá, sí, claro. Ah, hay, hay algunas tiendas en el Pine Street. Ajá. Yo pude haber contestado, yes, there is. Si, yo, a, si usted me pregunta, pero yo eh, solo conozco una, le podría contestar, yes, yes, there is. Si solo hay una, solo hay una. Ok. Entonces, no necesariamente si me preguntan, are there, yo debería de contestar, there are, sino que podría contestar, there is. ¿verdad? Sí, porque si solo hay una, sí. Okay. Por ejemplo, tú puedes, tú puedes decir, actually, there, there okay. is only one. Chévere. ¿Sí? Va, entonces, siempre con la... Chévere. Con mismo, Very good. Este, <risa> si yo digo, there are, uh -huh. siempre debería usar some. ¿Ya? Depende. Sí. Uh -huh. Pero ya vamos a ver. ¿Por, El... ¿por qué esa es su duda? Eh, no, o sea, para ver si la podía combinar. There are con... con sí, once. de hecho... Con one, no, con son. Ajá. Con son. Sí, cabal. Okay. Y, me y allá fall. con there is, solo, solo puedo usar one, no puedo eh, usar son. Exactly. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah, give it to Pfizer. <laughs> ok, very good. Pero si usted se fija, cuando usted dice, aren't there any grocery stores around here? Usted está como tratando de, de, de pensar que, que, que haya una opción para usted. Porque normalmente, guys, any, vamos a ver ahorita que any se ocupa para questions, normalmente, pero también any, si usted se ve, por ejemplo, a la, a la última respuesta de, de la pregunta segunda que estamos viendo, también se ocupa para negativo. ¿Se, ¿se han fijado? Mm -hmm. No, there aren't no any around here. O sea, no hay ni una. ¿Sí? O también, si ustedes se fijan, la segunda opción del negativo es la misma opción que acabamos de ver en la, en la de arriba con is, con but. ¿Ven eso? Uh -huh. Cuando hay combat, también puedo usar lo mismo, la coma. Y también, si obviamente hay algunas, también puedo usar some. Some es para decir que hay algunas. Algunas, pero no me dice la cantidad exacta de lo que hay. ¿Sí? Teacher. Yes. Claudita, dele. Es, en any sería uh -huh. la definición en español alguna o some, ninguna. Some so. es alguna y any es ninguna. Any es ninguna. Uh -huh. Entonces en la pregunta dice, are they any? O sea, no hay. Ah, ajá. Eso es lo que le voy a contestar ahorita. No, no necesariamente. Cuando usted dice, there aren't any around here, significa de plano que no hay nada. Pero uh -huh. en la pregunta, any, cuando por ejemplo, le voy a hacer yo una, una otra pregunta que no es esta, pero para que le aclare su punto. Por ejemplo, si usted en el refrigerador, se espera que tenga manzanas, ¿verdad? Yeah. Un ejemplo. Pero cuando va a hacer la lista del mercado, le dice su mamá o su hermana o quien sea, mira, compra 
compra manzanas. Y usted dice, si usted se recuerda que tenía manzanas en el refrigerador, y usted dice, ¿Are there any apples on the fridge? Y, y que, que no hay manzanas, pues. Que no hay manzanas en la refri. ¿Ah? Usted cuando hace esa pregunta, es, espera encontrar una respuesta positiva. Pero la, pero la respuesta puede ser tanto positiva como negativa. ¿Me entiende cómo se usa any? Y entonces no hay. Es lo que cuando usted está diciendo, are there any grocery stores around here? Y, de, y entonces no hay algunas, algunas eh, yeah. tiendas a, a, alrededor de aquí. Y no hay, como usted le dice, usted, nosotros utilizamos en El Salvador esa expresión. Mire, yeah. y no hay ninguna. Yeah. O no hay ninguna tienda por aquí. O no hay ningún supermercado por aquí. No hay ninguna lavandería. ¿Verdad que nosotros utilizamos esas preguntas? Entonces, cuando usted ocupa any en preguntas así, ese, ese es el significado que usted cre ha querido dar a entender. ¿Sí? I am not like a, in the is question. You don't like cuando, the question. Cuando, al, cuando, cuando alguien me pregunta así, digo yo, entonces no lo quiere encontrar. Ajá. Ah. Es que así, así hablamos nosotros, medio arrevesados. Como negativo. Exacto, es como negativo, uh -huh. pero si usted se fija queriendo encontrar algo positivo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Yo ah, que, me... Exacto, <risa> ve. Pero, pero le puse ese ejemplo para que me entendiera cuál, cuál realmente es el significado de any acá, en esta pregunta. Yeah. ¿Me entienden, sí? ¿Hoy, ¿Me entienden, yeah. chicos? Yeah. Morán, que es el que más me aflige de todos. <risa> That's great. Es que si utilizaríamos any en la pregunta sería como que eh, queriendo en sí saber si, si hay o no hay. Exacto, exacto, Alexander. Muy bien, eso es. Por eso le puse el ejemplo de las manzanas. Porque mira, y entonces, ¿qué no hay pues? ¿Ah? Yo, yo quiero saber si hay o no, ¿me entiende? Entonces usted, si hay, me va a decir there's some. No me va a decir hay tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, pero me va a decir hay algunas. Por lo menos tenemos provisión. Pero si usted me dice de plano no hay nada, no, there aren't any. ¿Me entiende? Yes. ¿Sí? Very good. Ok, guys, let's practice that pronunciation because we, will, we go further, ¿ok? Ok, repeat after me. ¿Is there a laundromat near here? ¿Is there, there a laundromat near, near here? here? Yes, there is. Yes, yes there is. is. There's one across from the shopping center. Yes, there's, there's one, one across, across from, from the, the shopping, shopping center. center. No, there isn't. No, no there, there isn't. isn't. But there's one next to the library. But there's, there's one, one next, next to the library. 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 Very good. Are there any grocery stores around here? Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, they are. Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Very good. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. But there are some on Third Avenue. But there are some on Third Avenue. Third. Third. Saquen la lengua. Third. Third. No, no crea que, me, que voy a creer que me está insultando y me está sacando la lengua. Don't worry about that. Third. Third. Third Avenue. Third Avenue. Y no se preocupe que aunque salpique la pantalla no me va a llegar a mí. ¿Okay? ¿Se acuerda? Cuando usted pronuncia third, le voy a bajar un poquito el micrófono. ¿Sí? Okay. 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 You hear me, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Let me share. Okay. There you go. Okay. Do me a favor. Let's practice. There is, is there. Okay. 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 No puede acercar más el, el micrófono. Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Pero se escuchaba yeah. mejor antes. Much better? Ya ves, Alexander always knows oh. something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Eh, vamos a practicar, ¿les parece? Um, 
Krishna, can you ask any question to uh, any of your classmates? Who is there or are there? But for to know if there are banks, supermercados, cosas que haya en nuestro vecindario. ¿Puedes formularle una pregunta? Um, yes, teacher. Go ahead. Dile a Morán, por favor. Ok, Morán. There are a bank, a city bank in, in near, near the July. They are or are there? Are there. Very good. Are there, are there, uh, sorry. Are there a uh, city bank near the July? No, there, no, there are. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> no, ninguno. <laughs> Uh, you can do it, Moran. You can do it. When I answer negative, I have to answer with but. But if no there aren't any. Uh -huh. No, they aren't. Uh -huh. yeah, only, no, they aren't. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now is your turn. Can you please ask a question to Claudita? Please, are, are, are there supermarket around in your house? Are there house? supermarket or are there any supermarket? Are there any supermarket uh, near from you live? In your house? From your house. Mm -hmm. uh, no, there are. No, there are, uh, but there is in the metro so there are. is only one. Ah, okay. There's in one? Metro Centro Lourdes. Okay, very good job. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay, excellent job. Now, guys, let's go back to where we are right now. To where we were. Okay, do me a favor. Let me move right now my screen. And can you see the my right side, guys, where it says prepositions? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? It yes. Sounds a little weird. Uh, there are some noise. Yes, noise. I know that. Can you hear me right now? So so. So so. A little bit. Okay. Equals. Uh, but let me ask you. Like you. Can you see where it says prepositions? Yes. 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 Okay. If you see, guys, we have a lot of prepositions that it helps us to provide information about where is something located. For example, we have on, que significa sobre, right? We have next to, se fijan la segunda, que significa Ernesto a la par de. We have near o close, que es algo cerquita, cerca de. Across from, usted puede decir across from, o puede decir opposite. Cuando usted dice pasando la calle, su opposite es al otro lado de la calle. ¿Sí? In front of, ¿te acuerdas qué significa, Morán? In front of. En frente de. En frente de, muy bien, lo felicito. In back of o behind. Atrás. Atrás, Atrás excelente. Between. En medio. Mira, my head is between. My two hands, mm -hmm. see? In the corner of? In la esquina. In la esquina. Very good job, excellent. Eso es bien importante, guys, 
para poder eh, ayudarnos a decir dónde está una cosa u otra. ¿Podemos repetirlo? ¿Qué significa on? ¿Qué significa next to? A la parte. Near or close? Cerca de. Very good. Across from or opposite? Al frente. Al frente. Al otro lado de la calle. Very good job. In front of? Frente de. In back of? Atrás de. Behind? Entre. En medio. Very good. Between? Entre. La esquina. En medio de. O entre. Ah, between. Frente. On the corner of? En la esquina. En la esquina. Muy bien. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a repetir la, la pronunciación de las propositions. Después vamos a hacer algo bien interesante, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer como una dinámica. ¿Y qué les parece que les, les tengo un mapa de una ciudad? Así que vamos a practicar eso de direcciones, ¿les parece? Ok, yes. repeat after me. On. 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 I cannot hear you. On. On. Next to. Next to. Near. 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 Close. Across from. Across from. from. Opposite. Opposite. In back of. In back of. Behind. Behind. In front of. In front of. Between. 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 On the corner of. On the the corner. Corner. Excellent job. Okay, now guys, let me show you right now something. There you go. Do you see my map? Yes. 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 Do you like this one or do you like this one? I have two maps. There you go. Do you like that one? No. Okay. Es que se escucha bastante interferencia, teacher. I know, I know. No lo entendemos. No, you don't. Okay, do me a favor. Allow me just one moment. I'm going to place myself on mute and I will fix something, okay? I'll be right back. Don't go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, you're better, Ernesto. Don't go. <laughs> ¿A quién se le rompió el escape? <risa> Así se oye. Sí. Quizás no es a la teacher. Quizás no es ella la del problema. No, no es ella. Alguien más está fallando. Sí, alguien está no fallando pone, los audífonos. ¿Por qué no ponemos mute? Ay, do, do you hear me? A, a ver quién puede ser. Hi, guys. Sí, pongamos. Ponga. Ay, ya era. ¿Can you hear me, guys? Yes, it's a... Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't know what happened. Yeah, my, maybe my USB doesn't want to work today. Alexander. <laughs> you didn't do that anything, okay? Uh, hi, Alexander. Okay, very good, guys. Let's go back to where we are, okay? Creo que no era suyo el problema porque siempre se había escuchando cuando usted no estaba. Really? Yeah. Pero ya paró. Sí, ya no. But, but you can listen to me right now? Okay, yes. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you, Mr. Student. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys, very good. ¿Qué les parece? Sí, no es lo mismo ver eh, las preposiciones en papel que verlas ya en un mapa, ¿sí? ¿Les parece si practicamos las preposiciones aquí con el mapa? Pero sí, creo que me es. mejor este, por una razón. Él le puede decir por qué. Aunque a Gaby le gusta la otra. Pero, pero ya va a ver por qué. Por ejemplo, para, para decir on, sobre. Mire, por ejemplo, yo digo, el, la grocery store is on Main Street. Mire, está en Main Street o la calle Main, la calle principal. ¿Sí? ¿Cuál era el otro, chicos? Next to, ¿verdad? Next to. Next to. Y usted dice, mire, the, ¿qué, ¿qué pasó? ¿Cuál sería next to? Mire, the shopping mall, el centro comercial, is next to the gas station. Mire, está a la par del gas station. ¿Cuál era el otro? Between. Between. Mire, the bank is between the grocery store and the Bakery. 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 ¿Sí? Es más, mire, the bus stop, la parada de bus. The bus stop, it is in front of the bank. The Podría ser, ¿verdad? Ajá. Si usted se fija, de acá, en la esquina, tenemos la bakery, right? Entonces usted dice, the bakery is on the corner of, está en la esquina de Main Street, Main Street. is Summer Street. ¿Mire? Está en la esquina de la calle principal y la calle verano, ¿sí? ¿Cuál nos falta? Behind, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Oh, en front of ya lo dijimos. Near. Ok. Near. Near. Vamos a ver. Ah, ah no. Ah, podría decirse usted que the park puede ser. The park is eh, near the hospital. Puede decirlo así, pero también si usted se fija, the park está, si yo estuviera por ejemplo en el shopping mall, ¿cómo le podría decir? El parque está al otro lado. Across. Across from. Across, Across from, or, ¿cuál era el otro? Opposite. Opposite. Ajá. Uh -huh. opposite. The opposite of the shopping mall, for example, ¿sí? ¿Me entiende? Ya las, las preposiciones, ya viéndolas en un mapa, son diferentes. ¿Sí? Muy bien. ¿Qué les parece si practicamos entre nosotros? Porque les dijimos que hoy vamos a hablar, ¿verdad? Todos tienen una cara de satisfacción. ¿Para qué les cuento? <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. ¿Qué les parece si hacemos una pequeña preguntita? Ajá. Mm -hmm. Voy a empezar yo. Le voy a dar un ejemplo y después voy diciendo quién, quién con quién. Um, a ver, ¿a quién va a ser mi primera víctima? No, perdón, el primer estudiante en participar. Sorry for that. Uh, Nadia. Hi, my girl. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Ok. Nadia, uh, voy a usar is, ¿ok? Is there, yo estoy, por ejemplo, ahorita no se, pre, no, se pre, no, no se preocupen cuál es su punto de partida, ¿ok? Yo solo quiero que practiquen las prepositions of places, ¿sí? Solo eso quiero que practiquen. Pero le pregunto yo, is there um, a gas station near here? ¿Cómo me contestaría usted? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Ajá, pero... Um, yes, yes, there is, punto. There's... There is in front of... Sorry. ¿Perdón? Yes, there is. Eso está muy bien. La felicito. Luego... There is or there are. ¿Cuántos, eh, ¿Cuántas gas stations ve usted ahí en el mapa? Una. Una. Entonces, ¿cuál me, cuál me utilizaría usted? 
Si solo es una, chicos, ¿cuál sería? There is. 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 ¿Ok? ¿Escuchas, Nadia? Creo que no me escucha Nadia, ¿verdad? No. 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 Eh, Christian, ¿me escuchas? Teacher. Ok, ¿can you please uh, answer me that question? ¿Is there a gas station near here? Yes, there, there is. Okay. There is one in front of the shopping center, the Very, shopping mall. The shopping mall. Very good. Muy bien. Exacto. Te felicito. Uh, hoy hace una pregunta a um, Fernando. Cualquiera. Vamos a utilizar otra uh, preposition of place. Okay. Um, is there a hospital? In Main Street? In Main Street or on Main Street? On ¿Lo ves, Main Fernando? Street? Yes, teacher. Ok. Se está preguntando si hay un hospital en, sobre la calle Main. Yes, there is. There is one hospital in the, in the street Main Street. In the street Main or on the Main Street? On the Main Street. Very good. Hoy, ¿puedes formular una pregunta a Morán, por favor? Usando okay. otra preposition of place. Usamos, por ejemplo, between. En medio de. Between. Uh, there is, there is a... There is or is there? Is there, is there a bank in the between? No, is there a bank near here? Solo así. Okay. No la respuesta, Morán. <laughs> is there a bank... Is there a van in... Cerca de aquí? ¿Cómo diría cerca de aquí? Here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Very good, very good. ¿Me lo podías responder, Morán? Yes, yes, there is. Uh, there is one bank between bike, bakery mm -hmm. and grocery store. Very good. ¿Qué le parece si me formula una pregunta a Américo? Américo... Artis, library, near here? Um, eh, yes, there is. Um, there is one eh, library across from the bank. Across from the bank. Very good job. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Uh, Alexander, ¿puedes formular una pregunta para Gaby? Yes. Uh, Gaby, is there a park near here? Sorry? Is there a park near here? Yes, there is one... Um, in front on in front of the hospital. Very good job, Gaby. Can you formulate a question to the Martita? Okay. Martita, uh, is there a shopping mall near here? Yes, there is. Uh, there is one next to gas station. Okay. Excellent job. Very good job, Martita. Okay, guys. Now, let me show you something. Oh, you know what? It's time to say goodbye. It's 10.04. That's not possible. That's not possible. Time passed really fast. Don't you think? Ernesto, what happened? <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, I will send you one link that I want you to practice at home because you will continue practicing uh, this type of directions and the reason there are for tomorrow. And let me show you the link that I would like to, to share with you. Let me just one moment. Okay, my dog is fighting right now. It's barking. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, guys. Sure. This is really nice because this one, basically, guys, you will practice. You are going to practice the listening part with um, the places, with the location of the places. All that you got to do is to focus on the on the screen on the map you have everything here you have police station you have school hospital bookstore everything okay so you just have to memorize that and after that you click on this on play pay attention first of all guys my best recommendation will be there's a steps for you to do this listening activity first of all try to understand the neighborhood map okay Entiendan el mapa, neighborhood map. Second of all, play. Sí, pónganle. Play the audio. Pero no vean el mapa. Do not double check the map. Cuando termine, vuelva a poner el audio. Sí. Y esté viendo el mapa. Y a la última vez, ponga el audio y empiece a contestar. Todo es de true or false. True or false. Solo es eso. Y al final, miren cuántas preguntas son. Son 10 preguntas, si no me equivoco. Ajá. Y ahí, después usted le da clic y le va a dar sus respuestas. Score. ¿Le parece? That is a really good listening activity. Le voy a mandar este link ahorita mismo en WhatsApp para que usted lo pueda tener. ¿Sí? ¿Tiene alguna duda, algún reclamo? Hable ahora que haya para hacer. <ríe> no, no, no okay. Sorry, guys, eh, si estoy ahorita con muy poca energía. I'm sorry for that. Teacher. Uh. Yes. Este, en teoría la otra semana se acaba, ¿verdad? En teoría la otra semana se acaba. ¿El curso? De verdad se va a acabar. Algo así que me pasa el WhatsApp. Eh. Sí. Hola, hola. Sí, yo lo escucho. Ah, ok. Este, no, lo que pasa es que estaba viendo que faltan como dos unidades y media. Ajá. Y ayer estaba viendo que por lo menos la última unidad, que es la cinco, está un poquito más complicada, que es el presente perfecto. The present perfect, uno de mis favoritos. Sí. <risa> y Claudia es, se va a morir, no mentira. Es esta yuca. <risa> No, Morán, no, la... por favor, no sea así. No ponga mal espina. Este, la pregunta era si lo vamos a alcanzar a ver o eh, va a tocar por nuestra propia cuenta. Sí. ¿Cuándo en la vida usted se ha quedado sin ver un topic with me? Bueno. No, pero es que, este, es que este es el sentido más largo. Creo que tiene más contenido este curso. Es que los nunca los siempre llegan, teacher. No, 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 pero conmigo lo va a alcanzar a ver, así que no se me va a escapar, Monsieur Morin. Bye. No crea. Y el próximo, y, y eso sí, chicos, ya que Mr. Moran tocó un tema muy bonito, Present Perfect, which I love, me encanta, ahí usted me va a tener que estudiar los verbos, por favor. Así le digo. Los verbos, right, Gaby? Yes. Y los verbos, guys, no nada de, de presente, nada de pasado. Los verbos en la tercera sí. línea, que eso es pre, el pasado, el preterito participio, perfect, perfect. Ajá. Porque el present perfect utilizamos el participio de los verbos. Con, con regulares no se preocupe porque siempre va a ser ED, pero con los irregulares sí se me va a tener que preocupar. ¿Sí? Así que, Monsieur Morin, ¿para qué pregunto? 
No, para, para estar preparado. <risa> es que you have to be prepared. Nos va a agarrar. Ah, sí, olvídese. Ah, sí. Lo voy a agarrar desprevenido. No, no, come on. <risa> pero, pero si quiere, lo agarro desprevenido, no hay problema. Se está moviendo el osito. Se está moviendo, no, aquí está un osito que se está moviendo. el osito. Está moviendo el osito. Y aquí hay otro osito que se mueve, miren. ¿Lo ven? El de América. No tiene su cam. Ah, perdón, discúlpeme, se me había olvidado, gracias. Estamos viendo. ¿Me ven? No. Oh. Hoy sí. Yes. Hoy sí. Ay, qué este es el osito que me. Ya sé por qué no me funcionaron mis headsets. ¿Saben por qué? Los comió. Porque hubo oh, alguien que lo comió. <risa> <risa> ese wow. es el culpable. Ah, se lo voy a enseñar para que vean lo que me pasó. A ver, ¿dónde está? Ah, sí. Miren. Miren. <risa> Miren. Sí. Entonces, Póngalo a vender galletas para el, recuperarlo. El chestnut, él fue el culpable. <risa> <risa> Ni modo. Ok, ¿cómo no? No se preocupe, que esta semana vamos con todo. Mañana y pasado va a estar súper chévere, porque la semana que viene va a estar intensa. ¿Les parece? Uh, okay. Muchísimas gracias por estar de nuevo en clase. Sé que ha sido difícil para algunos, problemas de salud, trabajo, cansancio, etc. Pero I'm so happy that you have a commitment. Que tengan un, un, una entrega para estudiar en las clases. Y muchas gracias por tenerme paciencia, sobre todo con los headsets que no me funcionaron hoy debido a mi perrito, ¿verdad? Y hasta ahorita me voy dando cuenta, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, pero espero verlos mañana. Please study. Ok. Okay. And, okay, teacher. Eh, ya les mandé el link para que lo practique. Es un listening. ¿sí? Les voy a mandar dos. Los dos que les voy a mandar tienen que ver con lo mismo, pero son mapas diferentes. ¿sí? So you practice at home and we'll see you guys tomorrow, ¿ok? Ok. okay. okay see you tomorrow. Okay, guys. Good Have night. a lovely night. Oh, Take night. care. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.